Time for tonight's rewrite. Willard M. Romney, whose father was the president of the fourth biggest automobile manufacturer in America, never actually had to work for his daily bread, but he thinks he knows something about jobs. Romney wanted to be richer than his father, much richer, so he went to Harvard Business School and started Bain Capital, a private equity firm in which he made hundreds of millions of dollars by buying companies which he then made more profitable by killing jobs in those companies. So he definitely knows something about killing jobs. Then he became a liberal Republican governor of Massachusetts who brought universal health care coverage to that state. Now Romney is going after President Obama for trying to create universal health care coverage and on jobs. There are always going to be bumps on the road to recover. I'm an American, not a bump in the road. I'm an American, not a bump in the road. I'm an American, not a bump in the road. Romney took his jobs message on the road this week and talked to some victims of the Great Depression at a coffee shop in Tampa. Well, I think I should also tell my story. I'm also unemployed. a particular job I'm, I'm looking for, so uh, I know exactly what I mean. It's, it's not terribly unfamiliar, but it's a lot of work. I am also un unemployed. <laughs> Needless to say, Democrats were quick to jump on that line. Democratic National Committee Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz took it very seriously and said, this comment shows that Mitt Romney, a man who wants for nothing and whose only occupation for more than four years has been to run for president, is incredibly out of touch with what's going on in our country and around the dinner tables of those who are out of work. Being unemployed, Mr. Romney, is not a joke. Well, really, almost anything, definitely including being unemployed, can be a joke if you're a comedian. But no one has ever accused Willard M. Romney of being a comedian. What we just saw was Romney's desperate attempt to relate to the unemployed. People who have run out of unemployment benefits and desperately need them extended, which Romney opposes. People who have drained their savings accounts. People who have spent whatever nest eggs they may have had, however small. Romney is functionally unemployed, but he has no reason to worry about making the next mortgage payment on the $12 million beachfront home he bought in California a few years ago. And he doesn't have to worry about the heating bill in his palace on 11 acres of lakefront in New Hampshire. He doesn't have to worry about money in any way at any time. And his children and grandchildren and their grandchildren will never have to worry about money at all. That's because, as the New York Times reports, Mr. Romney started Bain Capital in 1984 with an initial fund of about 40 million. During the 14 years he ran it, Bain Capital's investments reportedly earned an annual rate of return of over 100 percent. By then, Bain controlled assets worth billions. Mitt Romney is so rich that he doesn't have a reality show on NBC like pretend billionaire Donald Trump because he doesn't need one for the money. It couldn't be more painfully clear that Mitt Romney knows how to kill jobs. There is absolutely no evidence that he knows anything, anything at all about how to create jobs. And Mitt Romney 
obviously knows absolutely nothing about what it feels like to lose a job.